Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Luca and today I want to show you how you can set title tags and meta descriptions in a Framer for both static pages and CMS collections. To do that I've just set up a very simple project that we are going to use, which has two static pages, the on and the about, and it also has a CMS collection, which is the blog. So the first thing we need to do is go to the project settings and here we want to make a very clear distinction between page settings and site settings. So in general you want each page to have a unique title and a unique description because well each page should have unique content so it makes sense to have a unique title and a unique description that describe the content right now. However uh, something that often causes confusion is that if you go to site settings and general here you can see uh, two fields that say uh, site title and site description. What these fields are, are basically fallback fields if you do not set the metadata for a page. So for example, right now none of the pages on this project have a meta have metadata set, so they will always fall back to the site title and site description we have here. For example, if I set this to site title, and site description, I save and I publish. If we now try to preview this page in the browser, let's see if it loads, here we go. If I inspect the page here, you can see that it has the site title and the site description. That's because this page doesn't have a doesn't have unique metadata to display so they fall back on the site settings we have set. The same applies to other pages as well, for example uh, let's go to the about page if we inspect it here we go, we have the same uh, site settings we have set because uh, this page, as well as the home page, don't have metadata set, so they fall back on the site settings. However, as I was mentioning, we want to set each, we want to set a title tag and a meta description for each page. So let's see how we can do this. For static pages, all you have to do is select the page you want to edit and add a unique title and a unique description. So, for example, here I can say uh, on title and on description I can save and publish here we go if I try to preview now it should have changed perfect as you can see here now we have overwritten the uh, fallback rule and now the home page has its unique title and unique description so this is how you set uh, metadata for static pages for CMS pages it is a bit different because if I do the same as I did on the static page the problem here is that the title and the description will be applied to every uh, item in the CMS collection so they will always have the same title and the same description which is not what we want and to change this behavior we need to use a variable from the CMS so here, just under the page description, you can see that we have access to the CMS variables. Uh, more precisely, we have access to the uh, simple text field variables we have on the CMS collection. And we can basically reference them using this syntax, which is the double curly brackets and then the name of the variable. So here, for example, I can type double double curly brackets and use one of the variables we have here for example title and now I can close the double curly brackets and here in the preview you can see that now we do not have a we do not have a the same title applied to each page but rather we are pulling uh, dynamic data from the CMS page and we can have a unique title and a unique description so now I can do this for any page I want, for example here. And as you can see, the preview is really handy because it shows if you have done any error in the syntax. For example, if I misspell this, 
you will see that it tells me that this description is not a valid CMS variable and here we don't see uh, the dynamic field but rather we see the error here so let's get this straight perfect now I can save I can publish and if I try to preview one of the uh, pages we have here for example starting and growing a career in web design you can see that now the title is the same as we have on the page and the description as well uh, one thing to note, to note is that you do not need to uh, reference a field that is already here you could add for example a unique a unique field for the title tag and a unique field for the meta description if you do not want them to be the same as what you have on the page so for example I can add a another plain text field and call this meta description and now if I go back to the site settings I can see that here I have access to the meta description and all I have to do is change the name here and here we are using the meta description I've just set, which is a uh, blank because, well, I didn't set for each record, but we can reference a uh, this a unique variable that we are not necessarily using on the page. So that was basically it for the tutorial. I will leave the remix link in the description if you want to play around with the project. If you would like the video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you have any questions or any topics you will you want me to cover, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.